Hello everybody, this is uh, Peace Wynikism out here in the magnificent spontaneous order that surrounds us all. Under one of my recent videos I was somebody uh, made a comment and they said maybe you should learn how to grow your own food rather than be grateful that you don't have to. And I was thinking about this and I thought that this was very illustrative of a fundamental fallacy of the economy, of what makes a thriving, successful market economy. And that is the idea of specialization. Before, the, the arise of a complex market economy, there was barter and there was trade. And this was a good starting point for basic e economies. But this is not sufficient for a thoroughly complex, intricate, and specialized economy because if we relied mostly on what we, the food that we grew ourselves, the clothes that we sewed ourselves, the homes that we constructed ourselves, the water that we filtered ourselves, we would be living in abject poverty today because we would all be thoroughly consumed with just surviving, let alone thriving. When people started to specialize, when they started to not be necessarily self-sufficient in the sense that, you know, trying to live on their own outside of society away from other people, when they started to specialize, when they started to hone their skills and their crafts and then sell those goods or those services to other people and then other people would do the same thing, this is where you get a massive increase in the standard of living as well as a massive decrease in the cost of living. The more people enter an economy, the more people produce that which they are adept, that which they are most skilled at, the quality increases and the price plummets. More competition breeds quality, high quality and low prices. And who does this benefit the most? The poor. Capitalism, voluntary exchange between peaceful people, benefits the poor by far. It is the single most reason that poverty is virtually eradicated today. It is on the downfall. It is piecemeal being eliminated and perhaps one of the only impediments to this process is the war on poverty is welfare is public housing is Medicare Medicaid is food stamps EBT cards is the state intervening in this natural process and on the surface they would say that they are working to eradicate poverty but what is actually occurring is more and more people are becoming dependent on the free stuff and the free services that is doled out by the state in the same way that when you go to a park and you see signs that say don't feed the birds because then they will keep coming back for more and they will lose 
their ability to find food for themselves and to fend for themselves. So you are actually hurting them by them becoming so dependent on you. This is the exact same reasoning why the war on poverty and welfare fails in eradicating poverty. It is successful in that it creates a permanent underclass that is wholly dependent on the state and it creates busybody bureaucrats who make their living by creating more poor people. So specialization is one of the most beautiful aspects of the market economy. It has brought us magnificent things. So when people come to tell you that you should learn to grow your own food, you should learn to sew your own clothes, you should learn to filter your own water, to make your own energy, <laughs> to be as self-sufficient as possible, I would say that the beauty of living in a thriving market economy, hampered as it is by state regulation and taxation, the beauty of it is that we have a choice. We have a choice to grow our own food, to teach our kids the value of where food comes from, from the soil rather than being forced to do so, lest we starve. We have a choice to sew our own clothes, to teach our kids the value of mending clothes that are torn or saving money on buying new clothes, rather than being forced to do so, lest we go naked. We have a choice to make additions on our home or to build our home, to teach our kids about being a handyman, learn plumbing, learn electrical work around the house. How do you be useful around the house? Those are important lessons to teach our kids rather than being forced to do so lest we have no shelter. This is the beauty of the market economy. We have the choice and that is the fundamental difference between attempting to be self-sufficient now in this beautiful economy or being forced to do so in an economy that is wanting and that is deprived of the modern luxuries and comforts that we enjoy. Thank you very much. This is Daniel Cuellar from PeacefulAnarchism.com. Enjoy nature. Thank you for listening. If you enjoyed this content and would like to see more of it, please feel free to donate and help me interview other fascinating people. You can do so through Patreon. That's patreon.com slash peaceful anarchism to help me out. A dollar a show is all I ask. If you feel so inclined to donate more, please feel free. It will only assist me in spreading the message of freedom and volunteerism that much farther and that much more efficiently. You can also donate to my Bitcoin. My Bitcoin address is in the description to my videos as well as on my website, peacefulanarchism.com. And while you're on my site, there's a donate button to donate through PayPal. If you prefer to donate through PayPal, you can do so with that. But Patreon is a little bit easier for content creators as you can set up a recurring donation if you so desire. Also, while you're on my website, peacefulanarchism.com, please feel free to sign up, enter your email address, sign up for my newsletter, and you'll receive updates every time I post something, a video or an interview. I do not send out any spam. Or you can also follow me on Facebook under facebook.com slash peaceful anarchism or facebook.com slash Danilo Cuellar 3, I believe. Danilo Cuellar 3. So either, either one of those methods, if you are able to donate, I would be most appreciative. Thank you very much for listening. I hope you have a magnificent day.